Hey folks, glad you stopped back in. Uh, today I'm going to do a shooting impressions of my Staccato CS. Uh, a couple weeks ago I did a video uh, just like initial impressions. I measured the grip. We found out that stock triggers, stock STI triggers do work in this. Um, stock uh, thumb safety, sears, uh, anything 2011 related will fit into this gun. But anyway, I took it out to the range today. Didn't have my best day on the range, uh, but it's still an accurate description of the gun, even though I didn't do a good job shooting it today. But uh, let's get out to the range and take a look at how this gun shoots, and uh, I'll let you hear what my final thoughts are on the gun. All right, Staccato CS. Gonna do the bare solutions drill. Let's see if we can run this thing. Ah, I threw one. It's a 581 and I threw one. We're gonna have to run that again. All right, last run. I didn't lock back. Oh, well. You know what? Sometimes you just have those days, and this just happens to be my day. <laughs> All right, the consistency drill. That was a good time. Let's see if y'all can see that. It's a slow draw, but man, if you can do that at a 1236, that's pretty good. And it looks like that's a line cutter right there. Everything else, all good. Pretty good time. Try that drill if you can. You can get it from a Gorilla Approach and print it out and take it to the range. It's to be done at three yards. And uh, it's a good drill. Teaches you coming out of the holster quick, it teaches you transitions. It teaches you uh, follow through, recoil control. It teaches you reloads and back up on target. Um, these are considered low percentage shots. These are considered high percentage shots. So you've got to slow down when you go to those low percentage shots. You can speed up when you go to the high percentage shots. So this, this little drill right here is a really, really good drill for somebody that's gonna be concealed carrying, somebody that's in law enforcement, somebody just likes to go out and <coughs> have fun at the range and, and test their self. But uh, this is a really good drill, try it out. All right, from 25 yards, let's see if I can keep everything in the black with this iron sided gun. Wish me luck. All right, everything went high. Everything except for my first shot. And I will admit I was aiming high. So let me bring that point of aim down to about right here, cause I was aiming right up in here. So let me bring that point of aim down and let's see what we can do. Screw that. Still high. Well, I've definitely brought it down some. Uh, here they are right here. It's uh, one, two, three, four, I think a five, and maybe that one, I can't remember. But uh, uh, I struggle with this little gun at distance. I don't know why. It's not the recoil, uh, but I just do. I struggle with this little gun for some reason. So uh, anyway, on today's date, that's what I can do with this gun. Not very good, but eh, it's not terrible. You can tell how wide that is. So, 
We'll move on. Uh, so what do I think about this gun? Uh, this little Staccato CS. I like it, man, for what it's built for. I struggle at distance with this gun. Don't know why. Um, I had my Alchemy Custom out here not long ago. I shot it at distance and did okay with it. This one, not so much. I struggle once I get past 20 yards with this gun. And I, I, I really don't know why. Uh, it's got to be me. Uh, I have heard people on the internet say that uh, at distance, they kind of struggle with it a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna lay that on me today. Now, if it continues, once I put a red dot on here, um, maybe I'll, I'll change my opinion. But as of right now, I'm gonna chalk up the poor shooting today to me. Uh, everybody has those days. But we're not talking about my shooting today, we're talking about the gun. How did the gun perform? 100% reliable. Uh, had no malfunctions at all out of the gun. Uh, it ran like a sewing machine. Uh, I didn't shoot it the best today, but that's not an indictment on the gun. That's an indictment on me. Um, uh, you have those days at the range where you just don't perform well. And today was one of those days for me. Um, this gun would make an excellent little carry gun. Let me show you what I've been carrying it in. I've been carrying it in this uh, Southern Trapper holster. It's actually for uh, C2. Uh, now, I'm gonna say this. My C2 does not fit very well in this holster. When I say that, what do I mean? It goes in fine but it's so loose it almost fall it will fall out if i hold it upside down not the cs i don't get it i don't get it uh my c2 uh this holster is too loose for uh way too loose for uh i even sent it back and you can see where that was the original stitching they brought it in some to increase tension and they did the same thing down here to increase the tension i actually think that looks kind of crappy uh, especially when you pay $200 for a holster, but um, uh, they did it. It tightened it up for the CS. The CS is nice and snug in there. I have a Model C, which is the single stack. It's nice and snug in there, but my C2, for some reason, I don't know why, it is not snug at all in there. It's actually so loose it'll fall out if I turn it upside down. This one, if I turn it upside down, notice it doesn't fall out. It didn't move at all. So, uh, and this one is cut for a red dot. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a review on this holster. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I paid for it with my own money. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't think it's the best holster for the money out there. I think you can get better ones. I think Milt Sparks is a much better one to get. So if you can get you a Milt Sparks, uh, go for the Milt Sparks. This one is a decent holster, but if I were gonna rate it quality-wise, and I know people are gonna burn me down for this, uh, but quality-wise, I'd put it on par with a Galco. Uh, Galco's a production holster. It's not a bad holster, uh, but it's a higher-end production holster. I put this on par with a Galco because it's really not what I was expecting it to be. It is nowhere near the quality level of a Milt Sparks. So don't even think that. Um, but I'm not gonna go over the holster today. Uh, I touched on it a little bit, I guess I lied, huh? But I'm not gonna review the holster today. We're talking about the gun. The gun performed great. Uh, I've put everything th from this through this gun from uh, Freedom Munitions to Winchester White Box to 124 plus P to uh, 124 hollow point plus P's and it's run everything I put through it. I've never had a malfunction with it. It just runs. Uh, I don't keep it super wet. I keep it wet lubed where it needs to be, uh, up around the tip of the barrel where it locks up. I keep it lubed. I keep it lubed on the barrel hood and I have just a little bit of lube on the rails. That's it. Um, you shouldn't have to keep a modern gun just drenching wet in order for it to work. And with this one, you don't. Uh, I will say it's still, it's pretty tight still. It's got a little movement. I expected with the aluminum frame, it would loosen up a little bit. Uh, and the barrel lockup has loosened up a little bit. I probably got six, 700 rounds on this gun now. So just shy of a thousand rounds and it's loosened up some, which I figured it would. Uh, I didn't figure the barrel lockup would stay as tight as it was uh, or the slide to frame fit as tight as it was because it was tight, but this is an aluminum frame gun. I expected it to loosen up a little bit. Uh, now, after 
10,000 rounds, what will the tolerances be like? I expect them to hold pretty true to what they are now. Um, now only time will tell, but I expect the uh, tolerances to hold up like they are now. Uh, really like this gun. Um, if I had to choose between this and a C2, which one would I choose? I'd choose the C2. Uh, just because I think the C2 shoots a little softer. It's more fun to shoot. Uh, no matter what anybody tells you, this one, while it shoots flat, it's still got quite a bit more recoil than the C2 does. So uh, the recoil is there with this gun. It's a hot, snappy little gun, but it comes right back on target real quick. So uh, don't let people tell you that it's got less recoil than the C2. But at the same time, you know what? everybody perceives recoil a different way. So maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe I shouldn't make an assumption for somebody else. I perceive recoil different from what another person receives, perceives recoil. So uh, for me, uh, the recoil perception on this gun is greater than the C2. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't shoot it fast. And it doesn't mean that I can't shoot it fairly accurately. I can't shoot it as accurately as I can my C2. And I can't shoot it as accurately as I can my C. My C, the single stack. Man, that thing's a tack driver. Uh, that is a great carry gun, great carry gun. But anyway, that's my shooting range footage of the uh, Staccato CS. Hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my base up. And um, they just now monetize my channel. Uh, I don't make a lot of money on here, uh, but maybe it'll buy a couple of boxes of ammo um, for the range. Uh, so far, I've made enough to buy about two boxes of ammo for the range. But uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all coming. We'll see you next time.